I've talked about Fresh MVVM and MVVM framework for Xamarin Forms applications before, but now the author of this package has released an early version for .NET MAUI, so it's about time to see how we can get started with that. But before we go look at anything, I need to do a quick shout out to Denise Brosnichenko or Dennis Brosnichenko. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that entirely correctly, um, but he is the latest member on my channel. Um, you can check out how to become a member by clicking that join button down below, see what the perks are. And one of the perks are, if you become a senior developer, you will get a little shout out in one of my videos. Thank you so much for supporting me. And now quickly on to the main content of the day, fresh MVVM for .NET MAUI. So here I am on Windows 11 on Visual Studio 2022. The general availability version is out now at the time of recording. But remember, if you want to use .NET MAUI, you need to switch over to the new Visual Studio 2022 preview. You can run them side by side, so that's no problem. So I think the version number for that is 17.1. Um, the, the stable version for Visual Studio 2022 has the .NET MAUI bits removed because you know it's not in preview anymore, so it kind of makes sense. Um, so if you want to work with .NET MAUI, make sure to get the Visual Studio 2022 22 preview that is out now as well. I got that all running here and I did a file new .NET MAUI application. You can see it here running in the Windows subsystem for Android. So this is an Android um, application that you see running here and not a Windows application, mind you. Um, so I'm, I'll be using that and this is just a file new template. So click me and here I'm going to add the new version, early stages, fresh MVVM um, framework. So let's see how to do that. Now, um, let me close this one and stop running for a second. Uh, we're gonna wire up some things here in the Maui program.cs, but first you need to install the NuGet package. I already did that, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So go over to the solution explorer, right click on your project um, and go over to manage NuGet packages. Um, so that's a difference, right? With Xamarin Forms, we probably wanted to click on the um, solution level to install NuGet packages. Um, but now you can just click on that single project because it will automatically figure out if it needs to install the thing on um, for the platform versions as well. So that's really cool. Now here I'm going to search for fresh mvvm.maui. You can see I already did that. And make sure to check this include pre-releases one because actually it's not released as pre-release. So I don't think we need this. Um, but it is labeled as version 0.0.1. .0 so it is very early stages, but I just wanted to get this out there so you can start using this and give um, Michael Ritland, the author of this library, maybe a little bit feedback or get used to working with this um, because it is going to be amazing. So here we are, fresh MVVM, click install, um, and then it will install automatically and you got it in your .NET MAUI app. Um, now, before we are going to wire up all this MAUI program stuff, um, this is about MVVM. So we of course need a page model. I'm just going to reuse the main page that came with the default template um, and not uh, fiddle with that. Um, so I'm just going to add a page model right here or a view model, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I'm going to go over to my solution explorer again, right click on the project and do add class. And I'm going to name this the main page model because Fresh MVVM always worked with like the naming convention. So if you have a main page, it will figure out the main page model. Um, actually, it's the other way around because we do page model to page model navigation or view model to view model navigation. So um, whenever you navigate to a page model, it will automatically figure out by the name uh, which page it should resolve. So if we navigate to the main page model, um, it will automatically resolve the main page. And if we then go to the next page model, then it will figure out that um, it, it should find a page that is called the next page. So that is how it's all going to work. Now let's click add here and it will add that to our project. Now, while I'm here, let's also set up a property so we can see that that all works as well. Um, so I'm just going to add here public string my hello, I don't know, something like that, get set. Um, and let's add some value to that. Um, hello. All right, so now we got that set up. I will use that in a little bit to wire up the data binding as well so you can see that that all works. I mean, it should be no surprise, but just to preview that I'm not selling you nonsense here. Um, and now I think we got everything to wire this up in our MAUI program. So let's switch over back to MAUI program.cs. And of course, we're gonna use this generic host builder to set it all up. So I'm gonna add to this builder here and the builder has the services property where I can register these kinds of services. And now we have here because we added the fresh mvvm.maui package use fresh mvvm 
So it's not going to recognize this because we need to import here using fresh MVVM dot Maui dot extensions because it lives in the extensions space. Um, and now we've wired up the fresh MVVM framework. It will do its magic. Uh, but we also need to register the, the page models um, and also the pages um, and of course any other services that we want to use with dependency injection because one of the things that Michael did, the author of this package, is that it now all wired into um, the dependency injection extensions from Microsoft. So before Fresh MVVM would use tiny IOC, I think, um, so a tiny inversion of control container, which is basically another name for um, dependency injection for that whole concept. Um, but now it uses the Microsoft.extensions.dependency injection. So you can use any container that is compatible with that. That is really cool. Now, Let's wire up our pages. So I'm going to go builder services dot at and you have to kind of like specify the um, life cycle here, right? So I'm going to make this transient um, and I'm going to add the main page model. Now again, it's not going to recognize this because I need to add another using here for this add transient. I'm gonna use the IntelliSense here using Microsoft extensions dependency injection. That's what I just mentioned. Now, uh, we also need to do the page. So let's wire up that as well. And now we have all the ingredients to run this application and see that it works well almost because uh, we are still using our new main page in um, our app, right? So let's go over to our solution Explorer to our app.xaml.cs because here we're still setting the main page to new main page. And of course, that's not something that we want to do. Um, so now we want to do var tabbed page is new fresh MVVM dot Maui dot um, here we go fresh tabbed navigation container. Um, so because this is the first page, right? So uh, we need to set this up. This is the only place basically where you want to create a new um, container, a new page. Uh, so we're going to use this fresh tab navigation container. Uh, because if we use that, it will automatically now resolve all the dependencies uh, when we use the navigation through this container. And I'm using a tab page here. But of course, we also have um, a navigation page or um, I don't know, he has some other pages that you can use as well. And of course, you're free to um, kind of use the one that you want. Um, so the tabbed page dot um, add tab, let's add a tab right here. Um, let's add the main page model. So we need to do a model here. Uh, well, actually, yes. And I think we need to specify a title for our tab. And then we can specify an icon. I'm going to set that to null right now. Um, and I'm going to create an extra tab just to show you how the tabbed page will look. That's going to be main one. Um, what is going on here? The red squigglies. Ah, so we need to have this main page model needs to inherit from the fresh page page model um, so that it knows, you know, it, it has a certain um, uh, methods that it can use that it can call. So let's go back to our main page model. And we need to inherit this from fresh um, base page model. I think that's it. So let's see if IntelliSense agrees with us. Yes, using fresh MVVM dot Maui. Okay, so now we got this one, go back to our app examples. Yes, we got that one. And now we set our main page to be the tabbed page and we will see um, the new tabbed page here. Um, which has the two tabs and from there it will automatically resolve all the dependencies and all the things. Um, so let's click uh, the, the run button here and it's going to deploy this app to our um, Android subsystem, Windows subsystem for Android emulator kind of thing. Um, it will run our application and we're going to see our new application now powered by the fresh MVVM framework for Maui. Here we are. We can see two pages, two tabs, main, main one. You can click and switch between them. Um, this actually does the exact same thing, of course, because we just um, registered the same page, but you can see it picked up on that tab page. This still works. Actually, I forgot to wire up my little data binding here. So let's go back to um, our solution explorer and let's go to the main page. And I'm going to here say now binding uh, my hello, did I name it like that? My hello, I think so. Um, yes, my hello. So I created the binding right here. And you can see when I run this, it will now automatically connect the, the page model. So the main page model and the main page together, it will set the binding context for you automatically, you don't need to worry about that. And you can see that this binding now works out of the box because we see the hello here showing up at the top of this page.
The really cool thing is that the API service on the outside, so kind of like what the consumer is using, doesn't change that much. You just need to add that little initialization to um, like, you know, your app builder um, to wire up fresh MVVM now, but all the rest is probably going to remain pretty much the same. So if you've been working with fresh MVVM or if you've been creating content for MVVM like I have, then you're really happy with that because that content is not automatically outdated. You can now also apply it to .NET MAUI, which is really great. I'm uh, curious to see where this is going what other stuff might be added from here. Um, but I'm very grateful that uh, Michael Ritlin, thank you so much for creating this package and also making it now um, compatible with .NET MAUI because um, I've always used fresh MVVM um, with a lot of pleasure. So I hope that will be true for other people now in .NET MAUI as well. I've went over a couple of concepts here with like dependency injection. Uh, I've mentioned I already created some content on fresh MVVM. Um, it should pop up on your screen as part of the end screen so make sure to um, click on some content there if you want to dive deeper into um, those materials as well. For the rest, please click that like button if you've liked this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll be seeing you for my next video. Keep coding.